Do you think you know everything it takes to begin embroidering? Well, think again. Stick around because today I'm gonna take you back in time to when I didn't know a top threat from a bobbin and I'm gonna share with you all the essentials to begin embroidering. Embroidery is one of the most versatile art forms for any crafter and for new beginners it can be a very daunting learning curve. So if you want to get started with machine embroidery and don't have any idea where to begin, do not worry, I've got your back. And if you stick with us until the end, not only do we have one bonus, but two, a live demonstration and multiple downloadable templates that you can print and use every single day. Hey. You forgot the PDF. Oh my God, thanks, Aaron. This helpful guide is a free downloadable PDF that lists all the essentials you're gonna need to get started. Plus some handy extras that can help you save time and money and help you troubleshoot whenever needed. The downloadable link will be in the description below. First, let's start with the basics. To create machine embroidered items, we need a machine. Most crafters begin with a single needle one. Consider beginning with a multi-needle one like our EM1010 or our Creator 10 needle one. Having a multi-needle machine saves you a lot of time just simply by not having to swab the thread spools every single time your design calls for a color change. Next, we're gonna need some needles. Needles vary in sizes, materials they build off, point, shape, and most beginners don't even have an idea how to pair which needle with which fabric. This is why we include an entire section dedicated to needles in our PDF guide, and later we're gonna explain it in detail as our bonus number one. Next, we're gonna need thread. Threads come in a variety of colors and spool sizes. I prefer using Madeira Polyneum 40 during most projects, but when I'm embroidering finer things like small tags or onto delicate fabrics, I switch to Madeira number 60. Next, we're gonna need our bobbin and our bobbin case. For machine embroidery, we always need L-sized bobbins. They come pre-wound in paper, plastic, metal, and even magnetic spools, also in a wide variety of colors. Next, we're gonna need some support for our stitches or backing. It's always a good idea to test your designs multiple times on backing first before using one of your blanks. They come as cut away, tear away, water soluble, perfect stick. I prefer using medium weight cut away for most projects, especially when doing wearable garments. Next, we're gonna need our hoops. Most machines come with a standard set of hoops of various sizes that fit it perfectly. And if like me, you wanna make your life easy by hooping your designs easily every single time, consider getting two of my favorites, dating white device at our Recoma shop and an assortment of mighty hoops in different sizes like the ones I show you in every episode. And of course, we're gonna need some blanks. The type of blanks you're gonna get will depend on the type of projects you wanna create. Me, I love designing caps in the front and the back. And lastly, we're gonna need our design. The type of fabric of material and the placement needs to be measured first before we go design it. If you have been watching all the time, you already know how much I love Chroma. Remember what Miss Janet is always telling me, if you miss any of the items on this list, you cannot embroider. Hey, that reminds me, I should go get my groceries after this. And if you wanna add even more items to your own list, go watch this video where you can learn about the top crafting tools every embroiderer needs. Now that we know the list of essentials, let's take a look at the type of toolkits we're gonna need to maintain our machines in tip top shape. We're gonna need Allen keys to adjust the arm brackets to our hoop sizes depending on our project. A set of various screwdrivers for adjusting the bobbin tension, adjusting your arm brackets, securing the cap driver to your machine. Next, get yourself an oiling kit. Oil your machine for every four hours of use. Next, you're gonna need applique scissors, your dog build, your curb blade, your seam ripper, a specialty scissors, especially for fabrics, the snipper stitch for cutting jump stitches, and the perfect scissors, look them up. Next, you're gonna need an assortment of adhesives like paper tape, glue stick, sprays, iron on, adhesive, and transfer web. Next, your measuring tools. Remember, we need our rulers, our templates, our chalk, tailor's tape, the quilter's ruler, and a cutting mat with roller cutters. If you wanna see these tools in action, check out this episode when I use most of them to do applique two different ways. By the way, that reminds me of the time that silly me left my drafts on the cutting mat upstairs in my crafting table and my mentor didn't know and roller cut them by mistake. Remember the needles? It's super important to match the needle style point size to the type of fabric and materials you're gonna be embroidering. Did you know these babies come in a variety of materials like titanium? These are my favorites when it comes to embroidering a variety of hats and thicker materials. Download the guide included in this episode and print out all the charts that teach you how to use your needles. Now onto bonus number two, the perfect placement. We all know that placement is king. This is why I made you these templates. I got you covered on the V-necks for adults on the front and the back. You can also do a perfect placement on crewnecks front and back, also adult size. 
if you're going to be embroidering items for the younger crowd. I got you covered. Here we got children's size placements, charts, forefront and back. And I even got you covered for the itty bitty children. Patrick, can you move to your left? Hiram, am I not in the right spot? There you go. Thank you. Hey guys, let's take this to live action with our demo. Here we go. I've printed my template. I'm going to cut alongside the lines. All right, here's our template. We're gonna align the crew line to the crew line of our garment. Making sure that it's center, we're gonna mark our left chest logo placement for four, four down, four across. Here we go. Center line, left side, four and four. So the dot goes right here. And if I pick this up, we can see that we have the perfect placement for a left chest logo right here. So today we learned the entire list of items needed for an absolute beginner to get going with their machine embroidery business or hobby. Plus an added list of bonuses that are gonna make your life so much easier if you use them accordingly. And remember, you can download the entire PDF guide on the link I left you in the description below. It has this handy extra section that you can use to study along with all of my entire set of episodes up until now. That's it for today, folks. Do me a favor. If you enjoyed this episode, share it with all the people you love. And as usual, if you love what we do for you here on the channel, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel to help us grow. Turn on that notification bell so you always stay up to date with the latest episode because there is a world of creativity waiting for you right here at Ricoma Crafts. Until the next time. Thank you.